The city is ordering these unprecedented new restrictions to cut down on the potential spread of COVID during Carnival, obviously. Yeah, and Paul Murphy continues our coverage live from the French Quarter, where it's going to look a lot different this Carnival weekend. Hello there, Paul. Hello, and it certainly is. Mayor Cantrell and other city leaders say they are taking these measures to keep Mardi Gras from becoming a super spreader event. While many of the rules go into effect next weekend, there is expected to be a large police presence here in the French Quarter beginning tonight to crack down on large crowds. The mayor called last weekend's large crowds unacceptable. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell was hoping the city could have a safe and fun Mardi Gras this year. But she admits with the new, more contagious coronavirus variants now spreading and the large crowds we've already seen in the French Quarter, striking that balance is a hard thing to do. We have to mitigate the spread of this virus the best way we can. It requires all of us to do the right thing. And to encourage people to do the right thing, the city is now ordering new restrictions. Beginning next Friday through Mardi Gras Day, all bars will be closed both indoor and outdoor citywide. That includes bars operating as restaurants with conditional permits. There will also be no packaged liquor sales in the French Quarter. All sales of to-go drinks will also be banned. She's definitely kept the focus on public safety and keeping people alive, and, and you have to respect that. That said, Howie Kaplan, who owns the Howling Wolf in the Warehouse District, maintains bars and businesses that have been following the rules all along now have to suffer because of the bad actors. If people are doing stuff that's wrong, if there was an issue in the French Quarter, if there's an issue on Bourbon Street, if there's an issue uptown, wherever it is, you have the power to shut those places down to suspend their license. Bourbon, Decatur, and Frenchman Streets will be closed to pedestrians and vehicles from 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. Mardi Gras weekend. Only residents, hotel guests, restaurant patrons, and those looking to shop along the streets will be allowed through police barricades. The Claiborne Avenue corridor will also be fenced off from St. Louis Street to St. Bernard Avenue. NOPD Superintendent Sean Ferguson warned loitering will not be allowed. We will be out, we will be engaged, and we will be dispersing large crowds. City leaders had this advice for out-of-town visitors coming to New Orleans for the carnival celebration. If by chance you have an aversion to wearing a mask, stay where you're at. If you've got a problem with social distancing, don't come. If the choice in your thoughts are coming here to party and to hang and to drink and to spread COVID, no, you do not need to come and you should not come. And city leaders had a warning for bars and businesses. They said that the time for warnings is over and that if you are caught breaking the rules, they will shut you down on the spot. And uh, we should say again that those large police uh, presence uh, begin tonight here in the French Quarter. We're live in the quarter. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. All right, Paul. Now, Jefferson Parish sent out this response to New Orleans restrictions, saying it, quote, does not have a street like Bourbon or Frenchman where large crowds typically ga gather. However, they say we will monitor closely and really keep our eyes on things as we get closer to Mardi Gras to make sure people are adhering to the current mitigation measures in place.